Simbra Ndika Tsokuma Sekete. What do you do for a living? Uh, I have a business. You have a business? Yes. Where is that business? In town here? Yes. Father, I pray for his business that you touch it by your anointing and by your Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God is saying, I must tell you that um, I must tell you what you already suspect. That God wants to use you at a later time. Because I see you in a vision. Stand in front of people and minister in the word of God to them. I don't know what you do. What do you do in your church? You are not doing anything. This thing is not working. You are not doing anything. Hallelujah. Yes. I want you to say, Oh Lord Jesus. Oh Lord Jesus. I present myself to you. I present myself to you. To your anointing. To your anointing. May you touch me. May you touch me. And begin to use me. And begin to use Let me. Let us stretch forth our hands to him. Because God is releasing the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon his life. He is going to be mightily used by the Spirit of God. When you see he is very unique as time, you cannot associate it with, with being mightily used of the Holy Spirit. But if, if he flows according to what I am seeing in a vision, God is going to use him. And his name will be known in many places. That's what I am hearing from the Spirit of God. His name will be known in many places. Oh, Shapati Katsuna Karabasiki. Rike Telelebo Kosinta Kibo Shimanda Karabasana. Ukutika Shimandelebo Sata. Rikindi Katsumu Tika Suna Karabasiki. Even where you are standing, just expect to be touched by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He is receiving an anointing. You see, I'm not touching him. He's receiving an anointing from the Spirit of God. Because this is a Holy Ghost service. People are, are receiving activation of their ministries. Oh, Shipatika Tsuna. Zepetelebo Sata. Rikitina Kusetelebo Sata. Father, may you unleash your presence upon his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name. We release those finances which the enemy had stolen. We release even the giftings which will cause him to be celebrated in many places. Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Just remain in the altar area here. You can sit down if you feel like sitting down, or you can remain standing if you feel like continuing to. Don't move away. From, uh, don't make him sit. Don't force him to sit. Just uh, make him. Uh, I mean, let us just allow the Holy Spirit to do what he is doing. Because the Holy Spirit is a person. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your child, for your son. That you are touching his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm hearing from the Spirit of God that uh, you will be called to home. I saw you in a rural place, in a meeting, in a family meeting. Yes. I saw I you. Receive. Yes. In that family meeting, the Spirit of God is saying, just pray for the wisdom of God to prevail. I don't know what you will be discussing. But uh, uh, God is saying he wants to anoint you so that you are the influence of the Holy Spirit I in that me meeting. I yes. yes. And then the other thing which I'm being told by the Spirit of God is that God wants to give you a job. I, I saw you receive. receiving a letter. Yes. <laughs> Father, I remove poverty from his life. I say, God, May you look at upon him and remove the garment of reproach from him, the garment of pain. Jesus, mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just touch my hand. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Shambrindika Tsunu Maya Telekosa. Rependika Tsunu Maya Kelebasana. The other thing which I'm sensing from the Spirit of God, you will begin to be touched by the Spirit of God in a mighty way. Zambindira Kalabasana Karabatsuhuma Seprendika Tsunu Mele Karabasia. Father, I transfer to him what you created him for. This job that the enemy suppressed, I unleash it upon his life. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
You just remain in the altar area until you are completely touched. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Oh, Shambrindika Tsumukina Karabasana. Indikelele Bos. I'm being told by the Spirit of God that there is a very critical relative in your life Amen. that you haven't related very closely with. That's what I'm hearing from the Spirit of God. Amen. That, that is not featuring the way she should be featuring in your life. Amen. Yes, there is a woman that I'm seeing, a, a very close relative of yours by blood. Yes. Amen. The, the, the Spirit of God is saying, just make sure that you are close to this woman. She's a mother figure in your life. Where is your mother? Is it a rural area? Yes. When did you last see your mother? Uh, I think it was in March. In March this year? Yes. That's the last time you saw her? Yes, that's the last time. The Spirit of God is saying, when God gives you financial resources, minister to this woman because i see that your breakthrough and the breakthrough of your wife is linked to this woman Amen. that's what i'm sensing by the spirit of god we have alisa ngankulu lapha ngikhona ungamfonela ngxa ufuna ukuba kwazi she will confirm what i'm talking about that's what is blocking your ways because when i was coming to you i i heard her voice speaking too much mm. and yes it was speaking too much yes i found the I think it's yesterday. And what was she saying? She was complaining. She was complaining. Yes. <laughs> you see? <laughs> she was complaining. Mm. Even the wife, just come on. Yes, the wife is also smiling. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you hear what the Spirit of God is saying. Where is your own mother? She's, she's in the UK. She's in the UK. Mm. So you see the mother that actually needs a lot of care. And it, we were talking about going to see her. You, you have village. to organize. I don't know how you would. When the moment you arrive in that place, there are a lot of things that will fall from Amen. you. Amen. Yes. The moment you arrive in that place, Amen. there are a lot of things which will fall. Where is she? She's in Philippus. In Philippus. Yes. When you are going there, the Spirit of God is saying we must assist you as a church. We will assist you with part of your cross ah. That's what I'm shown in the vision. We'll do what I'm shown in the vision. Amen. Yes. We'll Amen. buy a bit of the cross I receive. Yes. So don't go without telling us. Amen. Because we have to give you a bit of the money for you to go there. Amen. Yes. We will actually pay part of your bus fare. You only need to raise half of the bus fare. Amen. As a church. Amen. Yes. That's what the Spirit of God is showing me. Thank because you, you. in that woman, that's where you, you, much of your blessing is. She's, she feels neglected. Where are your other siblings? The others, uh, my young sister is in South Africa. She's in South Africa. And my young brother is in South Africa. The others are here. The others are here? Yes. After coming from your mother, just to tell them also to not to neglect your mother. Amen. Yes. Shimandele lebo sata. Rikatsuna karabasiki. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is done. You see how God operates? Yes. Father, we thank you that you are a good God. That you are a gracious God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name, we thank you, Lord. That you are a good God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I need the anointing oil. It is inside my bag, the second bag, not the first one. I need to anoint them. Where is your mother? She's in Plumped. Yes. Is she working there? No, that's where we stay. That's where you where you stay? Yes. Plumped town? Yes. How long have you been staying there? It's your home area. Oh. I'm blessed. That's where you are blessed? Yes. I've been there for more than 10 years. More than 10 years? Yes. Prior to that, where were you? I was blessed at Wange. At Wange? Yes, sir. Where is your home area? Kezi. In Kezi? Yes, sir. When did you last go there? Uh, last month, I, I think around the 14 November. That's there, is a, there is a, I don't know whether it's a pool where people used to drown or it's a dam or what. Yes. Yes, it there is, is a dam. place where people used to drown. Yes. Actually, 
Yes. M- my cousin uh, drowned there. I think. Your cousin drowned there. Yes, it was. It was I saw another person drowning. So you need to look for some money. You go and pray. You won't be praying to marine spirits. I will give you some anointing oil at the end of the service a, to go and drop in that. It's a very big place. Eh? It's a dam actually. It's a dam actually, yes. yes. Okay. It's a dam because I see three spirits that are there, but you don't need to be afraid of them because you won't see anything when you arrive there. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. I won't describe what I'm seeing in a vision. Say. Yes, but uh, we want to cut we want to cut the spirit which is eating people. Yes. Because people, they claim that they see things there. I mean people who stay there. Okay. You may not know. Yes. Yes. Even those who are falling and drowning there. Yes. They were either seeing a snake or seeing a woman, a woman-like thing. In fact, yes. the first incident was in 1978 when yes. I was still young. Yes. Yes. That's where I lost my cousin. That's when you lost your cousin. Yes, sir. Because I saw some, another person drowning there. So, because we are moving to the rainy season, uh, we don't want anyone to, to drown there. Yes, we don't want anyone to drown there. So, the Spirit of God is saying, I give you anointing oil, not this one. I'm going to give you anointing oil before the end of the second service, or at the end of the second service. So, we are going to give you anointing oil. And then, Part of that anointing oil, you'll drop it in the river. Because uh, when you drop that anointing in the oil in the river, you will also neutralize some spirits from your bloodline that operate from the marine, yes. which have been neutralizing your breakthrough. Yes, sir. Just tell me the surnames of people that are connected to you by blood. Say, the dominating surname is Moyo. It's Moyo. Yes. And then which other surname among your grandparents? Ndlovu. And yes. another surname? Uh, it's Moyo and Ndlovu because my mother is also a Moyo. Your mother is also a Moyo. Yes. But these people, they funnily, they, they respected spirits from what? Yeah, that is true. Yes. Yeah. Some of their rituals, they did them in the what? Even my mother yeah. is involved into that. Y- your mother is into that? Yes. Where is she? She is at home in Kese area. In Kese area, area yes, there. Sir. So when you go there, you will neutralize that influence because how many kids do you have? Only two. Only two. This is my first born daughter. And, and the, the, this and small boy. And the small boy is aged six years. He's aged six years. This one is aged yes, because we don't want a career to be prong, blocked yes, yes, by these marine spirits. Yes. So when you go there, what I'm doing today is very unusual. Hallelujah. Because I'm just listening to the Spirit of God. I'm not following a formula. Yes. When you go there, you'll be praying. Uh, I mean, when you arrive there, you, you will tell me, you will phone us. Uh, I mean, if I'm not able to pick your phone, there is a brother who picks phones on my behalf. I can't see him now. Yes, but he's around. Yes, he's that side. So you can phone him. He will give you the same instructions that I could have given you. But if you phone when I am not busy, maybe like in the evening, I'll give you my phone number. I will tell you how to go about it. Yes, you will drop some of the anointing oil in that dam, and then you will begin to, to neutralize whatever negative forces may fight against your children and their future descendants, yeah. I mean the future descendants, and against your life as well. Yes. Yeah. In fact, it's a <coughs> yes. I, I don't know how to put it. Yes. Because uh, it's a very complicated issue. What yeah. you are saying is very true. Yes. But uh, I'm failing to narrate it. Yeah. yeah, to put it straight, because my mother is very much involved into that, and we've been yeah. trying by all means to discourage. Yeah. From it's because there are some mighty powers. Yes. From the marine kingdom, which are forcing yes. us to do that. So as a, yes. as a result, we are not in good books. It but was, God uh, will mend the relations. Yes. When you neutralize, because your relations are not damaged at a natural level, yes. they are damaged at a supernatural level. And then she has been releasing words that uh, we, we want to see what will happen to him and his family. Yes. Negative words. Yes. So when you go to that place, you will deal with the spirits that are activating her to operate that way. And then with her, now it will be a matter of course. God will take care of everything, Thank says you, the sir. Spirit of God. Thank you, sir. So I will see you. I will see you after the service. 
yes, to give you further life. Father, we thank you. Almighty God, I disconnect to them from the marine kingdoms. Jesus' name. Jesus. Just to come forward. Father, I release his destiny. I say his destiny is released. And his children and his wife are released. Jesus' mighty name, whatever was done to him when he was young, I cancel it. Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Father, I present to you my sister. I say, God, may you have your way in her life. I say, God, may her destiny open for her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, it is done. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that you are a good God, that you are a gracious God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. What do you do for a living? I work uh, as a doctor. You work as a doctor? Mm. Because uh, the, the reason why I'm asking you is because uh, in addition to... Where are you a doctor? In Lupan. In Lupan. Mm. That's some hospital. Yes. Because God wants to release the healing ministry upon your life. Mm. It, it is there, but it has been dormant. You didn't decide at random to pay a tongue. It's because there is a healing ministry to your life. Amen. Yes, there is a healing. God is releasing a healing anointing. That's what I'm hearing from the Spirit of God. Amen. And when, when this being a doctor is coupled with the healing, people won't understand how you will be getting results. Yeah. Even very complicated sicknesses like cancer, you'll be touching people and these things, they'll be healing very fast. They'll be thinking you're using medicine. When we are using both medicine and the anointing. Amen. Yes. <laughs> there have been incidents where you were not able to fully diagnose certain sicknesses. Mm -hmm. And then when you are sleeping and then after you uh, wake up from your sleep, mm -hmm. all of a sudden you know the, the correct way. Amen. Yes. Yeah. To be followed. Yes, the Spirit God. of God is telling me that you will have more of that operating in your life. In actual fact... The angel of his presence will appear in a mighty way in your dream. It doesn't mean that you will be seeing an angel, mm. but you will be seeing definite instructions and solutions from the Spirit of God of how to heal people, Amen. how to restore people's lives. Father, I release an anointing which will cause my brother to shake his own world. Jesus, mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just to come very close. He is releasing an anointing of healing right now upon you. And the weight of knowledge. When, when you are looking at a person, before you even put your stethoscope and other things, with the mighty presence of the Holy Spirit, the same anointing that was upon Jesus in Matthew chapter 9, for him to know people's thoughts, it will be mightily upon you. And because you'll be entering that word with the presence of the Holy Spirit, people will be feeling a difference. A lot of people will start to say, what's your surname? Mtizira. 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 Mm. Yes, people will start to say, we want to be, I mean, attended to by Dr. Sor Dr. Mtizira. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Yes. <laughs> it, it has been happening. Yes, true. I I got also... Um, private medical uh, you have got a private medical practice yes where is it in, in lupan, in lupan. Yes. yes yes i will give you anointing oil we want you to anoint the place there. Yes. because the devil fights doctors mm. he, 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 i think you know that yes. that the devil fights anything which represents life yes and anyone or anything which represents life the moment you say i am standing in the position to to give life you are fighting against the devil okay. Because the thief comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Amen. When you are giving people life, when you are giving us life, and we are lengthening our lives, it means you are fighting against the agenda of the devil. Amen. So you need to anoint your place. You see, you will anoint your place. And also praying by the Spirit of God. I will give you a bit of the anointing oil that you will use to anoint your place. There. But I see that God will shift you from Lupan. I receive. Yes, he will shift you from Lupan. It will come to pass very soon. Father, I thank you for my brother that you are doing it for him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.
God is saying, I must give you Luke chapter 10 and Matthew chapter 10. Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God wants to, you know, to sharpen your mind. Yes. Most of the solutions to your, to your life's problems, they will come from your mind. What are you doing? Um, I just finished my audio book. Yes. Just pray for God to anoint your academics. Yes. Thanks. Your breakthrough is linked to your academics. You, you were writing all of us. Yes. How many subjects did you write? Eleven. Eleven. Yes. How were you performing? I was performing badly. I was performing badly. Just to pray for God to anoint your academics. Father, I say, God, may you look upon her and visit her academics. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for your presence and your spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, we thank you for your anointing. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Even if I prayed for you now, if you want to be prayed for after lunch, it's up to you. Hallelujah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your child that you are touching his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your daughter that you are doing a new thing in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Do you have a, a relative or a, an acquaintance that is a teacher? No. You don't? Yeah. Because I saw you writing on a chalkboard. That's why I'm asking that question. Whether you've got someone who is a teacher. I saw you write on a chunk point. No, I don't. Eh? I don't. What are you doing for a living? <laughs> nothing. You are doing nothing. Mm. Father, I pray that you open doors for her so that she will have something to do and that she will impart strength and understanding unto others. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. It's not the will of God for you to do nothing. That's what I'm hearing by the Spirit of God. This coming year, just to pray for God to, to cause you to have something to do. Because God wants you to do something. He wants you to empower and teach others to come out of their problems. Okay. Father, I thank you for your daughter that you are doing a new thing in her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. The Spirit of God is saying, I must advise you to pray for this union, not to be plagued by differences. The union, you understand what I'm talking about? Yes. Yes. Just to pray for, for you to be in one accord. Yes. So that you don't have differences. I mean going forward. So that you are in one accord. There is so much more that you will achieve when you are in one accord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Libra Costa Makazine Kobosina Kalabasana. I want someone who has got a yeah, there is a Bible there. I want someone to, to read Ephesians chapter four, verse eleven. There is a Bible at the pulpit there. To read Ephesians four, verse eleven. There is a reason why I'm doing that. Zumbra Ndika Zukun. Yes. Uh, no, don't go away. Because we are reading it for you. Yes. Where is the microphone? Because we, we won't be able to hear him. This microphone, is it properly shown? 4 verse 11. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 11. Yes. It says, Thank you. and he himself gives some to the apostles, some 
prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. She's got a teaching anointing. So I wanted to prepare on a certain topic. Three weeks from now, we are going to give you a slot to teach in church. I'm telling you. When are you coming back? Next year. Next year. When you come back, just remind me. Okay. Yes. Father, I release a teaching anointing. <laughs> Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are touching her life. I release a teaching anointing which will cause her to understand the Holy Scriptures and to explain them not according to natural knowledge but according to supernatural knowledge. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Father, I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Father, I thank you for this child that you are touching the life of this child. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your son that you are touching his life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Oh, Shimande, just touch my hand. Oh, Libra Costa Makazilete. Tsunu Mia Sakina Kalabasana. Riki Tsuna Kiribi Usta Kalabo Sata. The Spirit of God wants you to to work as an intercessor. To work as an intercessor. That's what he wants you to do. Oh, Shimanda. I want you to say I accept the calling of God. I accept the calling of God. Oh, Miki Suna Karabasiki. Father, I release the gift of intercession together with the word of knowledge, word of wisdom, and the prophetic gift. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you that she will see clear that she will just touch your stomach. I speak streams of living water that will flow from her life and touch other people's lives and release healing and release breakthroughs in other people's lives. Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, I thank you that you are a good God, that you are anointing this daughter of Abraham. I release the goodness of Christ. Jesus mighty name, we thank you, Lord. Father, I release a sound mind upon this brother. I remove confusion from his life. I re remove confusion as I release the goodness of Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that you are a good God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, you say in your word that we shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Father, I say, whatever the enemy has stolen from this brand, I cause it to be restored. I remove any confusion that the enemy has assigned upon the life of this brother. I restore a sound mind by the energy of the Holy Spirit, by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that your spirit is in total control. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, I thank you that you are a good God. I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your daughter, for your goodness upon your daughter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for this child. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for this child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for this sister that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for this child that you are touching the life of this child. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for this child that you are touching the life of this child. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Is there anyone who is pregnant right now? Yeah, Sanelisi. 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 Yes. yes, because I saw someone who is pregnant, but I saw the pregnant, with the pregnancy, it develop a lot of problems. Yes. When the pregnancy, I'm going to spell my challenges. So, let me encourage you to tell me a church in Amen. Yes. 
libra ze kundika tsunu mara kila basana ze prendika sukusta kina akomo sembrest mendre moko zita kibo siketelele bo santa tsumu yandele kariba sina there is a, a, a I don't know whether it's your brother or what, a male relative of yours who, who is always accused of stealing. Ah, well, yes. I, I don't know. You don't know. No, I mean. But just try to remember your male relatives, both those who are in and out of, out of the, the country. Okay. There is one that is uh, accused. There is one that is being accused right now as I'm talking of okay. stealing from someone. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because I saw accusations. And I saw you receive a message that someone has gone to prison. That's what I saw in a vision. Okay. And it was your male relative. Okay. Right now as I'm talking according to the spirit of God, they are being accused of something. Okay. Yes. And we need God to intervene on their behalf. So, I figure, is it all about you? From family, but from my father, I have only one. You have got only one. Unga yena lo e one. Mrs. Kolo, sala lo mama ak. Sala lo mama ak. Yes, but the, even these other brothers, just to pray for them, just to write down their names. Okay. Yes, the ones that you are able to remember, not everyone, because you may end up writing everyone in Pumula. You see, yeah. because everyone is your relative by extension. Yes, just to write those ones that, especially those who are in South Africa. I'm interested in those who are not in Zimbabwe. Okay. Yes. Among your male relatives. And to put, I need to put this below Zalala, your male relative. Yes. yes. Because I saw you stand next to a certain man and he was in handcuffs. We were and of course. He was in handcuffs. So we need to pray for that not to come to pass. Father, we thank you for my sister that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Libra Zika and Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We must pray. There is a, a young person who has got a spirit of suicide. There is someone who is yes. contemplating suicide. Yes, who uh, blessing my, my sister's, my late sister's son, the one. Uh, yeah. where, is, where is he? But I wanted him to come. I want to pray for him. There is a spirit which is following him. It's a spirit of suicide. Mm -hmm. Because there are all sorts of evil spirits. So we need, but uh, I will tell you, we, we need to fast on Wednesday for, for him. You can fast even tomorrow. If okay. you are fasting tomorrow, you tell me, I also join you. Whatever day you will choose, mm -hmm. we, we fast for him. It's called blessing. Blessing. Yes. The, the enemy, you know, he has turned his name upside down. Instead of the blessing manifesting in his life, the enemy wants his life to be associated with a curse. What is it doing? He's doing, he just finished grade seven. He's a pep. Yeah, he's a young man. So we need to fast for him. Pray for that. And then there is another girl who has got a serious emotional problem. It was my daughter. It's your daughter? Yes. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What's her name? Amanda. Amanda. Father, I pray, I speak your grace upon Amanda. I say, God, may you turn around things in the life of Amanda. So we'll be fasting for Amanda and blessing. Praise the Lord. But there is a third one that I'm seeing among these children. Maybe he's older than all of them. Yeah. A, a, a baby girl, a, a older than them. Uh, maybe one I'm of seeing a, a girl, a big, a grown-up girl. It was the, the one who... When yes. you mentioned about emotional, it's my daughter because every time when she gets angry, yes. Sometimes but there is another one again who doesn't stay with you, a, a female relative. Maybe from my sister's daughters. Yes, w one of them. I think uh, maybe the youngest of all of them. Who will discuss? Her name is Diana. Diana. Yes. 
so we pray for Diana. Blessing, Blessing and Amanda. Amanda. Yes. On Wednesday. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you, Holy Spirit. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Uh, and then you have got a relative that I see in the, in the vision lose a job and ceremony. I don't know whether it has happened in the past or it's something which is yet to happen. It's a man. I see a male relative of yours lose a job and ceremony. Just being dismissed from the job without meaningful reasons. I haven't heard it so far. Yeah, so, so pray for your male relatives who are employed elsewhere, who are working somewhere, that thank they don't Jesus. lose their jobs. Father, I thank you for your daughter, that you are touching her life. I thank you, living spirit. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Thank you, Lord, that you are a good God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for your child, that you are touching his life. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, what is this letter about? This one is supposed to go for operation. For an operation mm. associated with this. Yes. When did the problem start? Since he was born, his, tet his testes didn't come down. His testes. Or oh, they didn't come down. Yes. Father, I pray for this child. That God, you minister a creative miracle upon the life of this child. I say, God, may you perfect your goodness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Father, I pray for my sister. I say, let your goodness locate my sister. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Uh, among your relatives, who has given the name of another person? Among my relatives? Yes. I also have the name of another person. <laughs> what was that person to you? An aunt. An aunt. Mm. Because the Spirit of God is saying, we must pray that what, what the enemy was doing in the life of the aunt does not happen in the life of the person who is carrying this name. Amen. Yes. I'm not saying the aunt is bad. Yes. Yes. But you have to live your own life. What's your name? Moria. Moria. Mm. Father, I pray for Moria. I say, God, this name is unique to her. I disconnect her from whatever patterns were going on in the life of her aunt. I say she will live her own life and experience the goodness of Christ. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. I saw a man sitting inside a trunk. I saw a man sitting inside a trunk. Yes. Yes. Who, who is the, the person who does that? I saw a person sitting inside a truck. Truck? Yes, a truck. A, a big, yes, a truck. Who is a truck driver, if I may ask? Father, in the mighty I name don't. of Jesus. You don't know anyone? I don't think. Yes, when you remember, I mean when you sit down, mm. you may remember people who are in your life circles. Because I see a truck driver in your life circles. In fact, I'm seeing more than one person who is a trunk drive. Okay. Yes. Maybe you can assist us. Okay. Yes. It's my husband's brother. It's, yeah, exactly, yes. yes. We need to... <laughs> uh, it's leverage. Leverage, leverage in turn order. Leverage in turn order. Yes. Yeah, the Holy Spirit is saying we should pray for him and fast for him on Thursday. Don't tell him anything. We just pray. He's in South Africa. He's in South Africa. I transfer the protective grace of God and the cover of the angel of God upon leverage in Tonori. I say, let your goodness settle upon his life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So we can do a partial fast Muswe Thursday. I will join you if you, whether we communicate or we don't communicate. It doesn't matter. But right, he, Pastor. I, I will give you uh, I will give you Isaiah chapter 45 from yes, verse Africa. 1 up to 5. Yes. And uh, you, Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 14 up to 17. Yes. 
I think someone is writing those verses. Yes, Isaiah chapter 45, from verse 1 up to 5, and uh, Isaiah chapter 54, from verse 14 up to 17. Thank so, you, Pastor. Yes, we will be also praying for your family as well, for God to break through in your family. Because you, when you pray for others, like Job, go and read Job chapter 42. When Job prayed for his friends, God gave him a double portion. There is something which is released in the spirit. When you pray for others, God will not just bless others and leave you. He will start by blessing you and also bless others. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, for your goodness upon your son. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister that you are doing a new thing in her life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I thank you for your daughter that you are touching her life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I saw you travel. I mean, embark on a long journey. Amen. Are you planning to travel elsewhere? Mm, Canada. But I've been denied a visa twice. To, to Canada. Where? Canada. Mm. Father, we pray that let impossibilities become possibilities in the life of this sister. I remove obstacles. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I don't know you, so when I speak by word of knowledge, you have to receive by faith what you have spoken. Yes. I receive. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for my sister that you are touching her life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. 